few years back I promised that one day I will go to India. Today, after I have got visa, I can finally do it. So let's go! I don't know if there exists someone who don't know what is Paddington Station. Here any type of journey starts, some finish. My today starts because it's my last time for my 44 days trip in India, last time in London. Still can't believe that I'm doing this. Pretty excited. So, they ask me if my visa is legal, they couldn't believe it is my visa. I already get stressed, I will not go to India and it's just the beginning of the trip. As I say to you, that will be crazy. It was my first time in a giant plane with a long flight, big turbulences and storm full of lightings. That was pretty exciting. Small advice, watch Lion King, it helps. Cheers. I didn't know at this time that the most interesting part will be after landing. I arrived to Delhi airport and for now I do not have Wi-Fi so I don't know how to contact Arman. Where am I supposed to pick my bag at? I'm just going all the way around. Wish me luck. I have to find somewhere visa and I believe that is here but I do not know. Yeah, that was here. E-visa. E-visa. Let's go. So I'm basically going to figure it, ra figure it out right now, where is my Ibiza? And I don't know. Look at this beautiful airport and just hands over there. The situation start to get more serious. No one knows what could happen. I couldn't record more since that is not permit. I just wanted to let you know I received this paper to fill it up to be able to enter India. But more about this you can find in my blog. It's quite embarrassing waiting for a visa 20 minutes because they can't find your visa. Um, that wasn't nice. Yeah, so basically what happened, I applied for my e-visa and they couldn't find my visa, so they couldn't give me visa. So I was like, what am I supposed to do then? <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? And they were like, who lets you come to India? And I was like, my EVs are all people on my way, you know, like, what I can say. Actually, to this moment, I don't know what's happened with my EVsa. Luckily, I could stay in India. I met my old friend Arman and my day finished. Five o'clock in the morning. A pack stuff. We are going to Jaipur. The sounds of the birds are insane, if you will listen it. Backpack trip right now, it's starting. Yes. I'm enjoying. It's more comfortable than camel and more comfortable than horse. This is my... What is her name? Soba. Our saddle, I think it's made from... Hmm? Thick blanket and some rope. Uh, You're holding over here to not fall. Mm. And if you will pay more for this expensive pack, then you can ride without this. So you can feel the skin, which is actually really, really... Strange. This is how you're driving, elephant. <laughs> driving. Uh, how are uh, riding? Riding. <laughs> close to Jagger on an elephant <laughs> which was a surprise from me to Marlena okay now this really nice surprise because that was my dream to have a ride on an elephant mm -hmm. and actually this is really really nice experience it's comfortable quite because in the beginning it was more comfortable than now but it's definitely too hot yeah to to be an elephant mm -hmm. just to make sure 
the elephants are treated well and there's nothing maybe <laughs> I mean not when he's screaming all the way around I do not like when they are screaming on elephants so wherever you will go next to the Amar Fort you can do extra experience oh, sorry I don't know what is happening with my elephant so you can do an extra experience and go on the right elephant right which costs 200 2000 2600 rupees for a base ride which is feeding riding and pictures mm -hmm. and if you want some more experience with elephants washing them and painting on them and or they have will, the elephant wash you or have the elephant wash you you have to pay 5500 mm -hmm. rupees this is the price we choose the first because I think the painting on elephants it's not the nice thing what the people are supposed to do. Let's mm -hmm. then be good. natural. Thank you. I just he just <laughs> made me lazy, but no problem. Our Shuba it's such a graceful lady. Mm. Which is Shuba actually means elegance. Really? Yeah. It's really elegant. Yeah, That's kind split of, on like, us, I mean, not, you know. Not really elegant, but <laughs> mm, Shoba's grace. Okay. Yeah. I prefer my and if that's the not, uh, and if that's not the meaning, then I look super stupid on <laughs> camera. Yeah. So in case you can leave a comment below, below if the Arman is right or not, please. If you want to know something about elephants, they are dang good with memory, so they can remember you even after ten years. So whenever I will come back here, I will have to just remember him. That is <laughs> time together. And then the elephant will be one more time here. Elephants are eating around 300 to 350 kilograms per day. So it's damn, damn expensive. Too expensive. Quick math. It's if the elephants can eat 300 kilograms and one kilogram have around six bananas, that's mean they can eat 100, <laughs> 1,800 bananas. Crazy. Oh, these bananas are for us to to feed the elephant. If you can see, this one is also here. That was my elephant to go. Baby, hello. Oh my God. Open the mouth. Ay. <laughs> So cute! Oh. oh. It's so soft tongue. Yeah, yeah. Hey girl! Let's go! Let's eat! Hey, hey, hey. She don't need me. <laughs> Be careful, man. Okay. You good now? Narman. Do you have water? Are you hydrated today? Hopefully. This is a place where they prefer food. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> I was looking at this young man preparing snack for an elephant. Long glass bend it few times, twisted around, and here we go. That was amazing snack for an elephant to eat. Well done. Good. Yes. Okay. Mm. Oh my god! I love them already. Let's go to our perfect taxi. Without perfect guide. Ah. And it's oh. We arrived to Panelina. This is this lovely, lovely, amazing spot. Unfortunately, since I saw nice videos and I read about this place, I can't go down. It's so amazing! Panamina step wells was built to collect water, which was later used at many templates and houses nearby. This really important place was a resting spot for many travelers, as the temperature inside is way cooler. It's not allowed to fly by drone, so I basically I can't do anything and I can't show you this place more than from my background. 
the fee for flying here is 12,000 rupees. So we do not want to have the problems and we don't want to put the problems for the army guys which are protecting this spot. Unfortunately, this place is worth so much and it's so beautiful but we can't do anything more. We are going now to Umbra over there. first king which actually have 12 wives just 12 and over 150 concubines so that was just harem for them they could go here on a on a field dance together sing together and talk together but with no one else any time after unfortunately for everyone who is going to Jaipur I'm really recommending to check our guide because he can really tell you amazing stories we are happy, nice weather. <laughs> Waiting for storm. you guys are lucky. <laughs> From here to down a big marble rock in one piece. Mm -hmm. One plant, one flower, different different things. Mm -hmm. First of all one flower, but second looks like even scorpion. Look at this, mm -hmm. scorpion. Yeah, yeah. Right? Third, the head of cobra. It's like, Ooh, okay. Right, the pair yeah, of cobra. Yeah. Fourth, decorated elephant trunk. Mm. Right? Fifth, fish tail. Sixth, wow. elephant tail. Seventh, a piece of wheat. Eight, the leaves of banana. Nine, sunflower. Tenth, crab, legs of the crab. Eleventh, a cobra is eating after finding another cobra in the mouth. Twelve, lily flower. Lily. Thirteen, green chili. And fourteen, ears of the rabbit. Right? See, butterfly, honey bee, elephant ears, and, and shell. Why they use this? It was the place for the private audience. So if someone is here, they are playing games. They are checking imagination, power, IQ of the guest, right? And different architecture, Hindu, Muslim, and Persian. Three we have here. And this work, what we call inlay. They make it halls and then they fix it inside the stones. Right? Okay. <laughs> Amber Palace is a place which has 300 years was built by three generations of the kings and what is nice is the wall over there around you will see behind me in the background this wall have 7.5 kilometer they are usually sitting lady and they are looking for special flowers to make colors or block printing it's quite nice old building and have many history. What was the rule of the life? That was make friends, shake hands. That means uh, kings all here around. They were picking from the culture so much stuff and Jaipur, the capital of the Rajmastan, have never had problems with anyone. It's a very good place to come and see something. After a while, that was possible for people to come over from Britain. They had a special room over here behind. I will show you. It's a three doors just for British people. And trust me, that place is stunning. Hello. 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 How do you feel? It is hot for you. Yes, dehydrated, but still good. Here we are in the really, really, really beautiful part of palace. Here the stars are shining at the daytime. So basically the queen wanted to sleep under the stars, but the king said he don't want her to sleep like that. So he built this place and put extra light so everything was shining like normal stars. And if you would like to see them, you can put the flashlight and just flash on all the walls and you will see the stars at the daytime. It's 
such a beautiful thing. Since I arrived to India, I would like to invite everyone to subscribe to my channel on YouTube, Miles of Steps, and I wish you can follow my journey over here, that it will be a really nice trip, so be ready to have a bunch of videos, pictures, and all possible nice stuff. Here we go!